So the NFC is having its own little mini arms race between the Eagles and the Cowboys. While the Giants, they dabble their big, stinky, ugly looking toe in the water. And they can't decide whether they're in or they're out. It looks like it's an arms race with the Eagles and the Cowboys. It's move, counter move, move, counter move. But just wait until you see what Howie Roseman's counter move to Brandon Cook's trade is. Dallas still stinks. Yo, by the way, King Ding back here. I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. You know, I love the NFC East. I love it. It's more like the NFC Beast because the division is once again the cream of the crop. And I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing in this division, but we got a mini arm race going. We have a mini arm race going between the Eagles and the Cowboys. It's move, counter move, move, counter move, move, counter move. And after the Cowboys traded for Brandon Cooks today and made their move, I can't wait to see Howie Roseman's counter move. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, Make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, most throttled Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And if you've been subscribed for a while, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support uh, you give to me. It truly make, means a lot. And you know what? I, I, I can't think. I can't think. I woke up a little bit ago uh, to the news of this trade, and I can't think. I, I need my brains. I need my brains. You know what I mean? In order for me to think... We must put it on the pink. You know what I'm saying? Boom, like Thanos. The pinky ring goes on. The brain turns on. We ready to go. Well, how about that? How about that? Oh, you like that? Yeah. All right. So, I feel good now. The pinky ring's on. We ready. And let's just jump right into this. Big trade for the Dallas Cowboys today. Now, you're going to hear uh, people laugh at this trade who are against the Cowboys. And you're going to hear the Cowboy fans talk about they're going to the Super Bowl once again. They're the greatest team ever, blah, blah, blah. They have the best receivers, best offense, all that crap. But I'm going to tell you the truth of everything when it comes to the Cowboys, comes to this trade, and comes to what the Eagles have to do next. All right, so... Here are the terms of the trade uh, for the Cowboys getting Brandon Cooks today. Um, according to Adam Schefter, he says Houston receives a fifth-round pick in 2023 and a sixth-round pick in 2024. Dallas receives wide receiver Brandon Cooks. Now, Brandon Cooks is a good wide receiver. First off, let's get that out of the way, okay, because I see a lot of people uh, trying to downplay this uh, this this move, right? I think this is a good player if he could stay healthy. Once again, you're dealing with a guy who who gets hurt a lot, okay? Last year, he had 57 receptions, 699 yards, three touchdowns, and he averaged 12.3 yards a catch. The thing about Brandon Cooks is over the course of his, what, 10-year career, he's he's gone over 1,000 yards six times, okay? He's quietly done it, by the way. He He's a... He's a good deep threat for the Dallas Cowboys. He's a he's a definitely an upgrade. Uh, and the truth of the matter is, this trade makes the Dallas Cowboys better. It makes them better. However, it also it also is a relief in some ways for Eagle fans and other other teams within the division and conference because what we didn't want to see was them get DeAndre Hopkins. We did not want to see them get uh Odell Beckham Jr. Because, see, I think Odell Beckham Jr. would actually be a good pickup this year because he's a year over a year removed from his injury. And that was the key. That's why I would have stayed away from him last season. Um, but um, they didn't get either of those two guys. And with the money, you know, the cap money they have to pay Dak Prescott, uh, I think they're going to have to pay Brandon Cooks like $12 million. Um, it, it really stretches the Cowboys thin in terms of getting – uh, another wide receiver like a DeAndre Hopkins or somebody like that. Um, so to me, they're they're not as explosive or as uh, scary as they could have possibly been if they would have gotten DeAndre Hopkins or or Odell Beckham Jr. However, we can't deny that this doesn't make the Cowboys better. It does. Okay, and the thing the Cowboys are doing is uh, get over here, cat. Uh, the thing the Cowboys are doing. Is the copying Eagles? 
They're copying the Eagles. You, you see, this is what I talk about. Uh, Howie Roseman's always two steps ahead of all the other teams in the NFL. Now everybody is running to adapt and be like the Philadelphia Eagles. The Cowboys looked at the Eagles secondary last year and said, damn, we wish we had a cornerbacks like Darius Slay and James Bradbury. We wish we had that kind of pairing. They had digs, but they wanted another, they wanted to pair them with somebody. What did they make sure they do? Go get Stephon Gilmore. Then they look at the Eagles wide receiving core and they say, look what the Eagles did with Jalen Hurts. Why are you always texting me when I'm on my when I'm making videos? Don't you know when I'm talking to the people? Don't text me. Who was it? Who was it? Oh, it was the Godfather. All right, so, anyways, <clears throat> what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you guys is this. The Eagles are the cream of the crop. The Eagles, they, they forge their own path. And now you see teams wanting to adjust to it. The Cowboys, they look at the Eagles roster. They know they had to upgrade it. They know they needed better corners. They see what the Eagles did at the, in secondary with their corners. They see what the Eagles did with their wide receivers. And all of a sudden, they, they want that. Um, so here's what I'll say. The Dallas Cowboys got better today. The Dallas Cowboys can win a lot of games with the pairing of CeeDee Lamb and Brandon Cooks. I'm just going to keep it real. They're, they're probably my third-ranked team within the conference at this point. Uh, you know, and, and the other thing is, for Dallas, is there's no more excuses for, for Dak Prescott. You can't have any more. You, you gave him a decent weapon. Brandon Cooks is a decent wide receiver. To pair him up with CeeDee Lamb is a good parent. They should be very, very effective, especially in a deep ball. He's going to be effective. So Dallas has made the move. What are the Eagles then going to do? to counter that's the question right how do the eagles counter this move um obviously we we know who we got cj uh, garter johnson we're, we're waiting for him as safety but i think it's more important than ever to get him signed uh and get that secondary shored up because this is a good uh, this is going to be a good receiving unit it's not it's not as good as the eagles obviously i take Devonte smith and and aj brown any day of the week over what they have with dallas Goddard. i need a drink Pinky up when you drink, always like, you know, like this. You got to have class. That's what it is. Don't you run, cat. You know what I'm saying? These cats, when I start doing videos, they get all worked up because they're Eagle fans. And, you know, so the, the Eagles receiving core obviously is better. Their secondary is obviously better. They're, they're, still, they're still better than Dallas, and they got a better quarterback. But Dallas has closed the gap. There's no question about it. And so, to me... You got to take care of that safety position now. You're going to have to take care of linebackers. I, if I was the Eagles, I'd try to go out and get Bobby Wagner. Get Bobby Wagner would be a great counter move. Uh, also, hey, you know, I'm going to keep saying this, and, and people are going to get mad at me and frustrated because it's hard for them to imagine, but this is another reason why the counter move should be <clears throat> go out and get Bajan Robinson in the draft. Go get him. Go get that stud of a running back, a generational, I hate using that word because it's thrown away around so loosely, but let's just say one of the better running backs to come out, maybe the best running back supposedly to come out since Saquon Barkley, at least type-wise, go out and get him. Go out and get him and make your offense even more lethal, okay? Do it. This is what you have to do. This is an arms race now. And Dallas is going to do whatever they can to get as close to the Eagles as they can. Brandon Cooks, to me, um, <clears throat> he doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't have the same um, fearfulness as a, you know, a DeAndre Hopkins would have or a Odell Beckham Jr. However, it's still an upgrade for Dallas. They haven't caught us, but. They're trying to close the gap. Uh, you saw it with the cornerbacks. You saw it with the wide receivers. Now the Eagles, the Eagles need to go out. In my opinion, go out and get and and, and get um get a linebacker, maybe like a Bobby Wagner. Obviously, first thing you got to get take care of that that safety position, which hopefully will be soon. Uh, C. J. Gardner Johnson has not signed with anybody. Okay, there is no nothing at this point we know coming down the path or the pipeline, you know, so just got to put that out there. Uh, maybe it'll happen today, maybe it won't. Just a lot of speculation, but no real, real facts about it. Um, 
I, I, if I'm the Eagles, I think you take a defensive player like a Jalen Carter, uh, you know, somebody like that in the first round, maybe on, you know, on your defensive, on the defensive side of the ball, I think at 10, then I would trade up. And like I always say, I say, you got to trade that second round pick next year you have, which is the Saints. Take your first, take that second, take another pick or a player, and then move up and, and try to get Bajan Robinson. I think Bajan Robinson on the Eagles would, would counter anything that Dallas Cowboys think they might have gained offensively with Brandon Cooks and then some. Okay, the Eagles offense is still better than Dallas's offense. The Eagles defense, in my opinion, is still better than the Dallas Cowboys defense. The Eagles still have a better pass rush. The Eagles still have a better secondary. Uh, I'd say Dallas probably has better linebackers. Although, you know, when we talk about edge rushers, on outside linebackers that rush the passer, uh, you know, I put Hassan Reddick right up there with Micah Parsons any day of the week. Um, but I think it's important to trade up that 30th pick to the um, to the mid first round, try to get Robinson. Remember, it's an arm race. It's an arms race now. It's just counter move, move, counter move, move. That's what it is. And 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 Jim Kemsky put out a projection of the picks we're going to get next year the compensatory with the compensatory picks I want you I want you to look at this really quick okay so Jim Kemsky said this if you include the projected comp picks the Eagles have 12 in the 2024 draft they have their one they have two twos two threes a four they have four fives and two sixes okay that's what it's projected as right now there, with two third round picks, and maybe it'll be thir three third round picks when it's all said and done, but with two third round picks, I think you have plenty of ammo to get back in the second round if you want to, which t means to me that that second round pick next year is a beautiful trade piece to use this year to move up in the draft and try to get Bajan Robinson, try to get that running back. Um, because listen, if Penny is healthy, he's good. Can't, I can't trust him 100% his health. And, um, you know, the other guys, I think, are, are yet to be seen, too. Um, the one thing I know people say, well, he doesn't really fit. John Robbins won't fit what the Eagles do. I disagree. I think if you look at Penny and the fact that they're bringing Penny in, you look at Trey Sermon, the two running backs the Eagles got when Nick Sirianni came here, uh, both 5'11 and between 215 and 220. John Robinson, six foot, two twenty. I think the Eagles are looking for those kind of backs a little bigger. So to me, that would be a great counter move to what the Cowboys have done. Um, but the truth is, we got to be honest. Cowboys have closed the gap on the Eagles. Uh, is it enough? No. Uh, the Eagles, I think they've gotten actually better this off season. I actually do. Uh, at most positions. I do think linebacker and running back are positions that still need to be upgraded and you need to secure your safety position. But uh, this is an arms race now and this is going to be one exciting division all while the Giants sit there and they dabble in it with their big, ugly-looking, disgusting toe, dabbling in the water, getting themselves a tight end and that, that's never healthy. And they think that all of a sudden they're ready to compete in this division. They better get their shit together because, let me tell you, the Eagles' backup quarterback threw as many touchdowns as their starting quarterback. And Washington, <clears throat> who knows what's up with them. But uh, this is a, it's an arms race. Eagles-Cowboys in March. Let's go. Let's do it. Howie, you're on the board. You're next. Make your move. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a thing back. And remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. I mean, I think you guys are probably like me, right? You you get the feeling that that Howie has something big in store at some point, and it's most likely around the draft time. But he's got something big that will go down draft night that we're all going to be shocked. We're all going to be excited. We're all going to scratch our head and say, how did he do that? Or how he do that? And uh, it's coming. This is exciting. I cannot wait for football to begin because I think it's going to be a great battle between Eagles and Dallas. And no more excuses for Dak Prescott. Uh, if he throws 14 interceptions and when he chokes again in the playoffs, uh, I don't think Mark Holmes or the Cowboys have anything that they can say. Denzel Washington out.